Hey guys, make sure to stay until the end. We want to share one good advice with you. That way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere and you don't end up spending thousands of dollars in future repairs. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a four edge that generation here from year 2010 to year 2014. If you need to find where the windshield washer pump fuse is located on four edge, where you can find it, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure to stay until the end. Before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage guys, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart on our YouTube channels. We show you how to fix transmissions, engine codes. This channel specifically will be for fuses guys. And we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Now, if you need help with anything, if you're in the middle of nowhere guys, and you need to find, let's say the fuse on that for edge for a fuel pump, for anti-theft system, alarm system, ignition codes, fuel injectors, anything like that, all you have to do, find the video on our channel, watch it in less than a minute or two, you're back on the road, guys. So that's why we make these videos to save you as much money and time as we can. So guys, for the windshield washer pump, where you can expect to find the fuse on that forage, we will demonstrate on this generation forage. Most people that own that generation forage do not know about all the hidden fuse boxes in it. That's why we conveniently made a video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on forage. Check it out, guys. For the windshield washer pump fuse, you need to open the hood, and when you face the engine, on the right side, that's your car battery. Next to it, we have a fuse box. Press these two tabs here, open the cover, and you're going to find the fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys, when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so guys what we need to check here specifically uh, one fuse only please guys make sure you stand till the end we want to share one good advice with you that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us this is the front of the forward edge driver side passenger side if you come in that row of fuses even if you have a missing fuse you count that number as 78 79 80 81 82 fuse number 82 guys that will be the one that you will need to check for the washer pump on forward edge so guys this generation forward edge has all kind of different fuses and relays fuses and relays that could be really hard to find especially if you live in a small town if you're in the middle of nowhere one time we needed a replacement fuse we couldn't get one and as a result we were stuck there for a few days until shipment came so we we'll recommend to keep some of those spare ones in the glove box for a peace of mind so that thing doesn't happen with you we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it from Hopefully the video will be helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.